Welcome to another wonderful Perkins Roofing video. Tim with Perkins Roofing here as normal and today we're going to talk about how to find a roof leak. Now this is going to apply to any type of roof, flat, sloped, tile, shingle, etc. And we're going to keep it a little general but we're going to talk about how to find a roof leak from the ground, from the roof, and almost uh, most importantly is from the attic. So Please follow along here and uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on uh, all of our social media accounts to learn more about roofing. This is a project that we finished a few years ago. Uh, we're here today for an annual inspection of the roof. So we have a tile roof here and then we have a flat roof up here. And they do not have an active leak right now, but I'll walk through how we would search for one and kind of what we do on our annual inspections when we're looking at a tile and a flat roof. So generally, when you're walking around the house, if you're trying to see if you have a leak from the ground, you would see water stains running down maybe in the corner here or at the wall here because the weak points of the roof for leaks are flashing areas. So anytime you have a wall transition where the roof, right, it's a wall that can turn into a leak or anytime you have vents or any penetrations that can turn into a leak but as we walk around the house here we can see all our wall transitions there's no stains there so everything's looking pretty good see the overhang of the decorative tiles up there everything looking good so far here one generally weak spot of a roof is around the scupper drains you can see those are all picture framed in and there's no stains coming from the drain so that is a good sign for the drainage which can be a weak spot on a flat roof one thing to note right here behind me maybe hard to see in the camera there's a wall crack right here i remember when we did this roof there's a cracking issue there too so there may be something with the walls right there that's something to look out for with possible leaks it's a wall crack. I'll zoom in on it right now. So to recap a little bit from the ground, what you want to look for are stains on the building. Those are, uh, when you see water stains on the building, that is evidence of a leak. Also from the ground, you can look for stucco cracks. So on the outside walls, look for water stains, stucco cracks, check for visible damage on the fascia or soffit woods on the perimeters of the house. Just walk around the house and you can easily check that. Even when I walk around my neighborhood, I can see people's damages on their homes just walking down the street. And also you can look for interior damage. If you can get access inside the home, look for any damages to drywalls, look above windows, look at the ceiling drywall. So sometimes the leaks come to the perimeter and you can look on the walls for, for drywall damage. Sometimes they come through the lights, sometimes through the ceiling. So check the inside. Those are what you just basically look for anything that doesn't look right. If you walk around your house, you can look around and say, hey, that doesn't look right to me or that looks like an issue. So from the tile roof, we want to check the vents to make sure they're sealed in correctly. Check the wall flashings to make sure they look good. You can see here, this looks pretty good. It'd be nice to clean some of this up. It's crumbling mortar. And check the tiles, which are looking in pretty good condition. So from up here on the flat roof, we can see the condition of the tiles below. So we're gonna be looking at the tiles to see if there are any broken tiles, because if a tile breaks and exposes the paper, then the paper can get cracked out by the sun and eventually turn into a leak. So you can see here, as we look at the tiles, I do not see any broken cap tiles. The pans, which are the ones underneath, like this, rather than like this, these are the caps, these are the pans. The pans are a little bit harder to see for damage without walking on the roof. But I think all the caps the whole roof look in good shape. So we did find something looking down on the main roof from the flower roof here. There's one broken tile right there. You see that crack right down there? So when you're on a flat roof checking for a leak, the sources that you want to check are the laps 
which are the seams in the roof between the roofing paper, the penetrations, which you can see we've resealed already with Polyflash 1C. This is a polyfresco roof from Polyglass. And you can also see the laps have already been resealed with sealant at all the laps as well, just to double uh, flash everything. So we're gonna check all of our penetrations here at the AC units. And lastly, we're gonna look for holes to see if any AC guys have been up here, dropped a screw, stepped on it. So we're gonna look for holes around the AC equipment. And we're going to check the walls to see if there's any wall cracks where water can come in through the wall and get underneath the roofing system. It happens all the time. So checking the walls up here on the flat roof, something you can see is water is getting in through the walls here. They don't have a coping cap. This is a standard termination. Generally, it's better to wrap up the wall and put a coping cap on the top of the wall because otherwise water's gonna permeate through and create cracks. So usually when you're checking a roof for a leak, you'll prod the seams like this with this tool, but you can see these seams are already sealed shut with a poly flash. So there's no way there's gonna be anything that gets in between them, but you prod the seams with your prod like this to find leaks on the seams. And then on the penetrations, you'll do kind of the same thing. These are coated chem curbs, so they're in really good shape. You can see this here is cracking a little bit, but I don't feel any water entering yet. But this is something to take note of that this might need reflash sometime in the near future. You see the cracking beginning to form here. And then look at that right there. I just found something. You see that? So it's important when you find something to mark it. So I've already marked this right here in the video. As you can see here, it's something that got in here and created a hole right there in this pitch pan. And now water is getting in. I can feel the moisture on my finger when I stick it in there. Another thing to look for is bad stucco work. Like you can see right here, here's the stucco, the end of the stucco mesh. It's open. Water can get in through this and it could create a roof leak. It hasn't yet, but it can happen. And right adjacent to this opening here, you can see there's like scars in the roof. Someone dragged something across the roof and created these, it looks like. So those are gonna be man made or beast made. It wasn't my roofers though. So now I'm on the tile roof. And a few things I noted here in this valley area which is one of the weak points that we talk about all this stuff is getting stuck here in this corner it's not really running right because of this tile you might want to create a cut on this tile right here just cut it so that the water can run better and then run down and additionally you see this nail needs to be nailed in a little bit better here add some caulking We've got this tile here is loose in front of the stack here. So that's probably contributing to that cracking right there. So now I'm at a flat roof and you can see right when you pull up this nice beautiful tree right over the flat roof. When you're looking for signs of leaks in any type of roofing system, that right there, that tree, that's going to be one cause of a potential leak. Signs of a roof leak, you look for fascia damage. You can see that from the ground or from the roof. So now up here on the flat roof, I pointed out the rusting of the metal from the ground, right? You can see here that this paper was cut too short. The paper is supposed to come all the way to the edge right here. Generally, you let it overhang even more, and then at the end you cut it. But they cut this way too short, which is why this drip metal here is all rusted on the end. And when that metal rust is gonna create holes that water can come in on the entire eave of the roof. And also behind me, look at this tree. I can shake its hand. Hello, Mr. Tree. You wanna invade my roof? Okay, come on up. Come on up, come on up and grow into my roof. You can see the tree is dropping 
branches and stuff all in the roof that could penetrate through the roof. This is how roof leaks occur. This is why you need to cut trees, no matter how pretty they are, away from the roof. You can even see here, this branch fell and damaged their gas vent. So you can see the branch right there fell, this branch, and bent up the gas vent here. And also, all this crap falling around the gas vent, you can see it's damaging the flashing around the vent. Stuff can grow in here. Little trees, they're gonna grow, grab, and roots are gonna grow into the roof and cause leaks. So these are things to look for. Looking for leaks on any type of roof, really, not even just fly roofs. See, we have a shingle roof here. Let's get into that. On shingle roofs, you want to look for missing shingles or exposed fasteners. You can see here, there's a missing shingle right here on the edge. There's delaminations here. You can see the threading of the shingles. That means that the shingles are getting too old where you can either need a new roof or need to repair the shingle roof. You can see someone repaired this already with some roof cement when the shingle broke. But basically when looking for damage to shingles, the first thing to look for is any missing shingles. You can see here, these shingles are missing. They put some roof cement on it so that the fasteners are not exposed. It is better to put new shingles than to just put roof cement on it. We'll get into this flat roof next because this one also has some problems. But on the shingle roof here, you look for missing shingles that need to be repaired. And also what you want to do is you want to look for high nails or any shingles that are pulling up. I don't see any shingles really uplifting. Like this one is here a little bit on the corner, but it's not too bad. Right here is an example of a missing shingle. See, we have a shingle missing here and these shingles are nailed on the nail line. But now that these nails are exposed, and there's no shingle over it, water can hit this nail and run straight down into the roof and cause a roof leak. So this is how you get a roof leak on a shingle roof. Another thing that you can do when you're looking for damage on any roof is just walk around on it. Like right here, I can feel that there's bad wood right here. I feel it flexing when I stop, when I step on it. I'm not stomping hard, I'm just stepping. But if you just walk around on the roof even, you can find some weak points. For metal roofs, most of the time down here in Dade and Broward County, any newer metal roofs are gonna be standing seam. And you usually don't see issues with standing seam panels unless they have rusted out. So sometimes, and I've seen this, people will install a steel roof where it should be aluminum or stainless steel due to proximity to the salt water, and then they'll get rust damages. Usually that's the only time you'll see damages on a standing seam roof unless it's super old. Now, when it comes to uh, like the keys, you can do screwed in roofs uh, where you have exposed fasteners, 5D crimp is what you call it. And a lot of the time, the installers don't use the proper screws. They'll put galvanized screws down when it should be stainless steel screws. And when you see that, you can see the screws rust out prematurely. And so the screws need to be backed out and stainless steel screws need to be reinstalled or you need to come and recoat the roof or seal the screws. So this would be where leaks would occur in a metal roof. Besides that, most of the time a metal roof will not leak. Additionally, check the AC work. A lot of the times when you have HVAC contractors or other non-roofing contractors on the roof, they will not know how to properly terminate the roof penetration. So if they're putting in a new AC rack or if they're putting in new vents into the roof, they're not properly terminating it. So this is something that you wanna look at when you're on the roof. When trying to find a roof leak, the most important place to look is the attic. Now, sometimes you don't have enough room in the attic to crawl on up there and get all the way to all the corners in there. Sometimes you do. I've been in attics where I can walk around and dance and jump up and down. And I've been in attics where I can only fit my head up there, I look around a little bit, and that's it. And some places don't even have attic, you have open beam ceilings. And some of these open beam ceilings are multi-layered. So it can get a little tricky with the attic, but if you have attic access and can, in, can get into the attic, that is the best way to find a roof leak. From the attic, you can see water damages, which are like dark brown, which I'll show some images here. You can see 
me in an attic looking around for the leaks if you see dark brown those are water stains that means that there is a roof leak from water intrusion the other thing to look for in an attic is termite damage and in here in south florida people don't know this most people don't know this but there are more leaks and roof damages caused by termites than from water damage so even though we have rainy season and hurricanes and all these hurricane damages termites cause more damage to roofing and more structural damage to buildings in general than any hurricane than any storm than any roof than any rain and even over time so like just wear and tear on the roof and the roof failing from water intrusion or water issues you are more likely to have roof failure from termites than water issues in South Florida. So you have to check for termite damage when you're in the attic as well as water damage and make sure to tent the house regularly or treat the house or building regularly uh, for termites if it is wood construction especially. Now, if you have concrete construction or metal-based construction, that's gonna help out a little bit. But if you have uh, wood-based construction of your home, wood deck or wood-framed home, then look for that termite damage. Thanks again for watching on how to find different roof leaks. I hope this was informative. Please follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's a big help. And if you have any roofing needs in South Florida, give us a call. You can see the phone number back behind me, 305-MIA-ROOF. You'll find us there. Thank you.